Welcome to Bed Crime Stories Podcast. I'm your host, T. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bed crimers, wherever you are. To anyone new, a warm welcome. Thank you for checking out the channel. All I ask is that after listening to the video, if you enjoyed it or learned something, that you please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Now let me get right to what I want to share. Hot off the presses this morning, an article in People magazine that says that two weeks before the slayings of the four University of Idaho students, Kaylee Gonsalves, Maddie Mogan, Ethan Shapin, and Zana Kronodal, the man now accused of the crime, Brian Koberger, sent a series of messages to one of the victims. Before I share all the details with you, let me just say that Brian Koberger is innocent until proven guilty. Here is what the article says, and I quote, In late October, an account that authorities believe belonged to Brian Koberger sent a greeting to one of the female victims. The source says, when he didn't get a reply, he sent several more messages to her. He slid into one of the girl's DMs several times, but she didn't respond. The source tells People Magazine, basically it was just him saying, hey, how are you? But he did it again and again. Koberger's now deleted Instagram account, which was viewed by People before it was removed, followed the accounts of Mogan, Gonsalves, and Zana Cronado, but there was no public interaction. It's unclear why Koberger didn't get a response to his messages, but authorities say that the victim may have missed them completely. And now the article quotes the source saying this, she may not have seen them because they went into message requests. Instagram users are not notified when they receive a message from someone they do not follow back, and the messages go into a special folder. The source says, we're still trying to determine how aware the victims were of his existence, end quote, meaning Brian Koberger's existence. There's no indication that he was getting frustrated with her lack of response, the source adds, but he was definitely persistent, end quote. Unfortunately, the article in People doesn't say which of the victims Koberger messaged on Instagram. I think, however, we can guess, based on her incredibly brutal wounds, that it was likely Kaylee Gonsalves. Until the next time on Bed Crime Stories. Now do me a favor, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and keep an eye out for a second video that I will be releasing today. See you next time.